Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Check, check, check. I'm just seeing if this works, because guys, for this segment, I've got the new mic. Is it working? How am I meant to know if it works? The shed's been decorated behind me here. We've got a pool table. We've got the television up in the corner here. And you guys have sent through hundreds, and when I say this, I mean hundreds of questions. I'll pick the best ones, and I'll try and answer as many as possible over the next 10 minutes or so, okay? And in the meantime, let's have a couple of games of pool. We need to rack up these balls here, don't we? I've just given the table a nice little clean, by the way. Obviously, I'm not playing anyone today, so I'm just gonna try and pot any old ball. Get that nice and centered. Now, that's just ready to go, isn't it? You gotta select your club of choice, right? I like this one. Well, let's break this, and then we'll get the Q&A underway, hey? Come on, Daddy. Boom, power, nothing down though. All right, first question. How was the transition from going from Victoria up to GWS, then back down? Love your work, thumbs up. Look, Chriso, um, the transition at the start was so hard. It was, um, especially going from a town of 200 people to the city of Sydney, that was, um, that was a really big move originally for the dark. I found a way, mate. I found a way to survive. Played a lot of golf early days, went fishing a lot. Later on um, in my Giants days, I, I purchased my boat and I was out in the harbour probably three to four times a week, believe it or not. Hit this seven in. Oh, oh I've hit the 15 in instead. And then coming back down the highway uh, to Geelong, obviously that move was a lot easier. I was more mature as a player. I was 28 roughly, I think I was. I would say to sum it up, early days, very, very difficult move in, especially my first couple of seasons at the Giants. The move back much easier. Really enjoying my time now, as you can see. How has your life changed since having Macy? Wow we, I tell you what. And when I say wow we, I mean like in the best possible way. I remember going to the hospital with Indy and you don't have a child, then the next day you come home with a child and away we go, you know? So um, it's been awesome. She's such an incredible little girl. Absolutely love her. Um, much better now, she's sleeping through the night. Indy has been incredible. She's bang. She is um, an incredible mother to little Macy. Every day she just like evolves Macy. Every day, it's like she learns a new trick every single day. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's rip through some questions. This is quick five. We're having a break from pool. I'm gonna sit down and smash through some of these. Your favorite dog from Abbey. My favorite dog is a GSP for sure. German short-haired pointer. Billy is a German short-haired pointer. Hard work when they're small. As soon as they get to that sort of four to five years of age, incredible mature dog, but um, lots, of, lots of hard work early. Top three favorite golf courses to play on. I went up and played at Cathedral last year with the, with the Geelong boys and uh, incredible course, one of my favorites of all time that I've played on personally. In the mid season break, we played Barn Boogle, Lost Farm, incredible course as well. Local, probably 13th Beach. Golf handicap, my golf handicap, I actually played today and had 38 points, so it might come down a bit. Five point something it is. Golf handicap is 5.9. What's your thoughts on Tazzy's AFL team? If set up earlier, would you have liked a farm life there too? It's a fantastic thing for Tazzy. They love their footy. Everyone will jump on board and away they go. Would I move down there personally? Well, if Geelong come to me right now and said, look, mate, you're getting too old, you're, you're 39, you can't play with us anymore and Tazzy wanted me, I would go because um, it's also like a great state. For me personally, it's like there's so much farmland, there's um, fishing, there's, it would suit me, wouldn't it? You could have a farm down there, no issues at all and play a bit of football. The only thing is I'd make sure that they put in the contract that I'm allowed to live full time in my caravan with my family. Who would be the worst slash and the best Apprentice farmhand at the Cats. I'd probably go like a um, Tom Hawkins or a, a, a Reece Stanley because they have properties as well. 
They're very handy on the farm, obviously. The worst, oh, any number of the young boys. We're talking Sam De Koning. We're talking um, Ollie Dempsey. Any of those young city slicker boys, they just couldn't hack it on the farm. They would not, like, I've had, a, I've had Ollie Dempsey here. Hey, he looks at a cow like he's never seen a cow before. It's incredible stuff. Uh, what's your coffee order? I always go a large latte, extra hot. If my coffee is lukewarm, I scull it and it's gone. I like to sip on it, enjoy it over probably a half, a half an hour period. Tony Two Knees, love the Instagram name, Tony Two Knees. Is hot sauce the best? Barbecue sauce is the best sauce by a country mile. This purple ball, bottom right here, folks. <laughs> Daddy. Um, did I just do that the wrong? I was meant to go <laughs> I do like tomato sauce, but only on, only on uh, sausage rolls or pies. Meat pies, I will. Sometimes go tomato sauce. This is my favorite number, the number five, the orange number five, here we go. This is a hard shot, this, with the chair behind me. Doesn't matter. Let's keep them flowing, will we? Let's keep them flowing. First I've ever kicked a football was probably, oh, it's not 100 meters, but it's damn close. <laughs> Oh, that's a, there's some, can I just say there is some fantastic questions in here. Some that are very funny, but I cannot put on this channel. What would you tell your younger self five years ago? Five years ago, what would I tell myself? It was probably through that COVID stage five years ago or about to go into it. Um, probably just to back yourself, back yourself in. Lots of things are about to happen in that stage of my life. It was a massive few years, but just to back yourself in, it, go with your gut feel. Uh, don't get caught up in what other people think and um, roll with the punches. Toughest opponent. What a fantastic question that is. Toughest opponent. Uh, my toughest opponent, probably Alex Rance right up there. Just the way he went about his football, he used to dominate pretty much um, everyone he played on. Matty Scarlett, early days I played on Matty Scarlett. Kicked two goals, then he come and stood beside me and I did not touch the ball. Dylan Grimes, early days we had, he, he probably owes me about 15 grand in fines. I don't know why, but I always used to wrestle with him early days. There's a lot, there's a lot. There's a lot of good defenders out there. These days, Sammy Taylor, I rate as one of the best key backs in the game. Tom Stewart, clearly, but only in pre-season because uh, I'm lucky enough to have him on my side. Um, Darcy Moore, he plays a bit like Rancy, comes off, chops out in the air and sends it back the other way. So um, if you're not careful, he can embarrass you as well. If you want to see that red one in that pocket? No worries. Oh, shit. Millie sent through this question. At what age did you discover your love for footy? I'd probably say at the age of five, uh, I, I started playing Oz Kick. Five, turning six uh, in Dartmoor at my primary school, Dartmoor Primary. Shout out to Dartmoor Primary. I love you guys. Hope you're doing really well. From there, I, I loved it, but then I went back to golf. I played cricket. I didn't even really play football for a fair while after that. I then started at the age of around 15. So my proper, proper love, I would have to say, was around 14 going on 15 years of age. Besides GMHBA Stadium, my favorite stadium, probably, probably the MCG. Playing at Geelong, MCG probably means a big Friday night game slash Saturday night game. Uh, love the big occasions like that against big teams and um, it's the home of footy, isn't it? Most embarrassing football moment. My most embarrassing, most embarrassing football moment is probably when I ran into the umpire. That's gotta be right up there. Didn't know where he come from. He obviously didn't see me. Clash of heads, the whole works. Uh, it's still talked about today, so probably hitting the umpire is a very embarrassing moment for me. What do you like about Geelong? I love that I can be 20 minutes from GMHBA Stadium but live on a farm. 
That's probably my favourite thing about it. Nice and quiet, not as much traffic as Sydney. What else do I love about Geelong? Good fishing most of the year round. Good tuna, the tuna come on the bite. Um, that's not gonna go as oh, How about that for a shot? You wanna see this four go in? Simple as that, folks. Let's rip through a few of these questions. Tell us about your Landy, your Land Rover. So, my Landy is a 1956 short wheelbase Series 2A. Absolutely love it. Plans to get a, um, a few things done to it and then get a rec reg for it, So, which means I can drive it a fair few days of a year. My favourite Yeti product. My favourite Yeti product. I've got a couple here. Obviously the stubby holder, very, very handy. That comes in handy, especially throughout summer, but also winter. And this is um, this is a little drink bottle that I should have a swig from. This one's customised with Darty on both sides of it. So um, Yeti's doing great things. Engagement story, so we're over in Rapid Bay, South Australia. We're touring in the caravan. I had the ring underneath the caravan the whole entire trip panicking that I was going to lose it. And then on the last, we had bad weather the whole time. We got to Rapid Bay, the weather finally cleared up for a beautiful evening on the beach. Um, wonderful night, very special, still conditions, got the job done. Daddy was very nervous. Do you still have Caddy? A lot of people asking me about Caddy. Caddy, so basically the story with Caddy was, Caddy was like a dog. Caddy ran around the farm, chased me everywhere lived his life. I got him de-sexed so he would stop wandering because he started going on adventures. And I was like, look, this is not great. I don't want him to go on adventures um, and come back like two weeks later. Had no idea where he was going. So I got him de-sexed because I was told he would um, stay closer to home. About two days later, disappeared, never seen him again. So Caddy, hopefully if you're out there watching this video, Caddy, we miss you. Please come back. Uh, I've got lots of food for you and lots of cuddles if you ever choose to come home. Are you excited for the Darwin Games? I'm very excited for the Darwin Games. It's, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be sweaty. Daddy may go the double glove. Scratch this. Um, Pat sent this one through. What is the most bizarre food you've ever eaten? I probably had a few lemonades one night and I ate my yabby raw out of my fish tank once. That was possibly the most disgusting taste I've ever tasted in my mouth. Prefer my yabbies cooked from now on. Favourite goal I've ever kicked? Probably that one that was did not deviate off its line against Collingwood when the crowd was right in my ear. It felt like there was one million Collingwood supporters standing behind me, booing me when I kicked that goal. So that's probably one that stands out for me. Cereal first or milk? I put my cereal, oh my God. Is this, a, is this a legit thing, Tommy? Tell me no one out there tips their milk in the bowl first and then the cereal. That is just outrageous stuff. Play you'd love to play with, current or retired. Would have been pretty cool to play with, but we thought he was coming to the Giants early days as well. I'm thinking, look, Lance Franklin's coming to Sydney. He's gonna play with us. And then he went to the Swans. <laughs> Hole in one or a metre barra? You can only have one. Would choose a hole in one right now because it's much, 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 much harder to um, have a hole in one than it is to catch a metre barra. A good mate, Benny, up in Darwin, uh, he's taken me over the East Arnhem land before. We, we stayed on a charter out there with Brooksy and the boys and uh, I think like five metre barra were caught that trip. Benny knows exactly where the meter fish are at all times. This man is the guru in Darwin. If you ever want to go fishing with a bloke, hit me up on Instagram, I'll send you his number. Lots of people asking questions about the floor in the man cave. I'm probably not going to do much at all about the floor, let's be honest. It's an open man cave now. It was an open stable. The leaves, everything comes in here, it gets dirty on the floor. I'm not too fussed about it. I actually did most of this stuff to the shed and made this shed what it is today, from the horse stables to now the man cave, during that great run in 2022, when we, when we went on to win the flag. So when we got the week off before um, finals, the buy before finals, I was stoked because I could get the roof in. And then we beat Collingwood, we got another weekend, uh, week off, 
weekend off and I was stoked because I could put the bar in, I can do like all this and then on the weekend just rock up and, and try and win a flag, you know. What we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to pot out this um, every single one of these balls whilst answering questions on the go. So we're just going to keep going bang, 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 bang until all the balls are gone. We're going to wrap up the video and we'll do it again sometime soon, won't we? Favourite hole at the sands. Favourite hole at the Sands Golf Club? Probably the short par five because it's an easy birdie hole. How's the body and the mind going coming into this season? The body's feeling really, really good. Um, I'm gonna be honest, the body's feeling great. The mind's feeling good as well. This is frowned upon potting the eight ball, but I've done it. Any young guns at the Cats? Uh, plenty of young guns at the Cats. Couple that I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, obviously Clarky uh, coming off the back of his injuries. Tanner, we know what Tanner can do. He's probably played a bit more football than um, some of the other guys, but um, Ollie Dempsey is going to be really good. Looking forward to seeing Toby Conway. Big Conway, he's, uh, he's had a full pre-season. What sort of caravan do you have? We have a titanium caravan. One of my favourite things about the Titanium Caravan is like their ability to go anywhere. Full off grid these days, you don't have to plug into power, you don't have to plug into water. You've got the solar on the roof, a uh, couple of lithium batteries under the seat, and you can, as long as you've got good sun, you're gonna have power. So you can pull up where, come on, hop up. You sit there and watch, oh, you dirty me, see, you silly duffer. Hey, that's dad's fault though, I told you to get up there, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna try and finish on a trick shot here. Here we go. Oh, that's not a trick shot. I've just potted it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to absolutely everyone that sent through a question because there was a lot of you. No, I couldn't get back to all of them because there was just so many. But uh, in the near future, we're gonna do another Q&A. We'll keep doing that throughout the season as the footy year rolls on. Exciting times here at the Cattery. Lots of young talent coming through. We're looking forward to it. If you haven't got your membership already, jump onto it. We've got the Jolly Selwood stand now, so the home games are gonna be absolutely rocking. And last but not least, we are this close to reaching 20,000 subscribers on the channel. And to celebrate, I'm giving away my round one versus St Kilda 2024 match worn boots signed by the Dart. It's a big milestone, 20,000 subscribers, and whoever wins those boots must be a subscriber. So if you haven't got onto it already, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you again soon in another video.